and the nation's largest fertility center announces since 1991, 50,000 babies have been born, all due to egg and sperm donation. Wyatt Goolsby talked to a bioethics expert about the many medical and moral issues. Join us now is Jennifer Lull, founder and president of the Center for Bioethics and Culture Network. She's also the producer of the documentary film Exploitation, revealing the risks young women face to sell their eggs. So Jennifer, you say there are nearly three quarters of a million frozen embryos in the United States, an incredible number. Can you give us some insight on the health risks a woman faces when she donates eggs? Yeah, young, healthy women who are not patients um, have short and long-term risk. The short-term risk can be infection, bleeding, bloating, uh, more severe, this syndrome called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome where the ovaries get the size of grapefruits, which could ca cause them to have uh, strokes or even lose their own fertility. The longer term risks are less known because we've never studied this. We're asking young women to do something that we've never once studied in the medical literature. But the longer term risks can be reproductive cancers, breast cancer, ovarian cancers, and also loss of fertility. And of course, long term problems if they suffer a stroke in the short term. It's incredible, and most women may not even notice that or note that there's all those potential problems. No, and they're not told. Yeah. You also know the fact that in addition to just the health risk, there's also a whole host of ethical problems. What kind of ethical problems are we talking about here? Well, in my mind, one of the largest ones is the fact that we're asking young, healthy women to do something with their bodies that we haven't even studied. So we can't inform them. So informed consent is meaningless. The second thing is the money. They're offered large sums of money. Where else do you ever see a doctor who offers you a lot of money to do anything? Never. Mm -hmm. So we have a problem with the ethics of how medicine isn't practicing within its Hippocratic tradition of do no harm. Sure. And, you know, the Catholic Church, of course, issued a document about this in, in 1987, Donum Vitae, that's Latin for the gift of life, saying egg donation is not moral. So what else does this document say about sort of reproductive technology in general? Well, I think, you know, we, we move from procreation to reproduction. We, we talk about reproduction, which conjures up in our mind manufacturing, mm -hmm. designing, you know, designer babies, babies made to order, babies on demand, babies based on the babies that I want, based on the money I can buy, um, the money I can spend. Yeah, it sounds like something out of science fiction, but now it's becoming science fact. And it's, it's, and which leads us back to the three quarters of a million frozen human embryos. How did we get there? This, this industry this reproductive industry that is woefully unregulated, mm -hmm. you know, tens of billions of dollars a year, just cranking out embryos that we pick, choose, freeze, throw away, discard, use for research. Jennifer Law, founder and president of the Center for Bioethics and Culture Network. Thanks so much. You're welcome.